Hey, welcome back to Tactics Talk with Guido. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. I've got a replay analysis here for you from Bonzi Duck. He's in his T-54 Tier 9 Russian medium tank. And he's got a good setup here on Swamp as top tier in a 3-5-7. So he's the big dog on campus here. You can see that he's spawned in the southwest and he's headed over to, sorry, the southeast. And he's headed over to the southwest to the castle area, which you may be saying, you can't do that, you're in a medium. How can you go to the southwest where the heavies brawl? That's a dumb idea. Well, it goes back to analyzing the situation and taking the proper action. In this case, looking at this setup, you can tell that he's a tier nine T-54. There are no other really big tier nines that he's going to meet up there. If the bat chat goes up there, then that's something he has to deal with. But it's highly unlikely the bat chat's gonna go there from the northwest spawn. Highly unlikely the Yag Tiger will go there. That guy's probably going to camp somewhere. And he may meet a couple of the heavies right there. But the good news is that he will absolutely shred any Tier 8 heavies that he meets up there. Especially if he takes the right position. So let's go ahead and head out here and see what we get. And off he goes along the low ground right here, which is a good idea. You may notice that my markers on my tanks are kind of goofy. I've got that 100% and I've only got the showing the type of tank. I am not sure what has happened, but I have lost nearly complete control of my markers. Every time I go in and set them up in the settings, that when I come back out, I hit apply, come back out, they're random. They come to something, they, they don't go where I tell them. So whether that's a update fail or some issue with this replay, I don't know. I had that problem for a long time and I did a complete reload, deleted completely World of Tanks. I had other problems like my sound would reset every time to 100%, it was super annoying. I thought I had fixed all that by a new load, but apparently something is again corrupted with Wargaming's programming. So we'll see what happens in the future. But you can see that he's come around here back to this battle itself. And he's meeting the T-34 Bravo right here, the Black Edition, who's not looking at him, which is a super important thing right now. He's loaded. He's in a good spot. That guy's not looking at him. Man, pop out and tag him right in the side of the turret and then start backing up. But let's watch what Bonzi does. There's sort of such backing up right there. Man, I'd have been investigating shots all along the, right there, Bonzi. I think you had one. I'd have popped in there and taken another shot on him. I mean, he's just not paying attention to you. And, oh, by the way, he's getting hammered from behind. I think you've left at least two shots on the table here. I like being careful. That's good. And you are paying attention to Artie. So it is possible you were thinking, well, I don't want to get into that little spot and get the crap Artie'd out of me. But more than likely, Artie's pretty busy looking at all these other guys these dudes are shooting at. I think you had that shot for a, a lot longer than that. So probably have, would have been able to shoot at least three times by now. But now we're getting into the game. There we go. Take that guy down. And we'll move around here. And again, I would get more aggressive in here and look for these shots. Not, I'll be quite honest, I'm not exactly sure what you're doing. Because there's all kinds of deads and near deads in here. We can just start rock, rocking these guys. I probably would have pushed two against the Tiger P. Right now you're in pretty good shape. Looks like you're going for that kind of shoulder right there. That one goes into his track. Now he would have obviously been eaten by the track. But for that flat plate stuff, a little dab of two will do you right there. And you need to finish this guy off much faster. It's one of those situations where people will say, well, gold's not required. Well, it's not required, but it sure does make things easier sometimes. And it wouldn't stop you from aiming. It would just make you much more sure of penning through there. So off he goes, and he's pushing up. So let's talk about this for just a little bit, because it goes back to the beginning where I said, well, I think a lot of people would probably go with this setup, would have taken their T-54 up into the northeast, and they'd have said, you know, I'm going to take my high tier T-54, because that's where the mediums and lights go, and I'll just eat alive any of the small stuff I find up there, and then I'm going to flank them. I'm going to flank them. Well, meanwhile, if you've lost down in the southwest, your, your big flank maneuver doesn't mean diddly, and the fact that you cleaned up a bunch of small guys doesn't help the fact that your relatively big dudes down in the southwest all got waxed. Now that didn't happen here because the enemy team is pretty bad and they are pushing through, but this was a great setup and map for him to say, you know what, I'm taking my medium to the heavy area because I know based on the setup and the type of medium I have and being top tier 
and we'll and what the opposition is that I'm going to eat those guys for lunch. He's going to keep on trucking in here. Now he does have three arty that he has to deal with or think about. The Tiger One, I think, is AFK here. Comes in here. I don't think Bonzi has six cents from what I can tell because he's going to shoot once, maybe shoot twice. Oh, there he goes. Then he gets hit. Unless he was spotted for a very long time, which I doubt it. It looks like he doesn't have six cents on this tank yet. Down goes the Tiger One, which was AFK. This is a good approach. He's got a lot of guys with him. The good news is he's not getting pushed over on the east side. There is a Jag, a JT 8.8 .8 over there, kind of paying attention to what's going on behind him. But the enemy team just simply didn't send anybody over there. I mean, they camped and they sent a bunch of guys up to the, up to the castle and got waxed pretty much. This is where a not a lot of depression becomes an issue right here on positions like this. So you've got to work yourself down into the flat area. Try to minimize your exposure. Good old third person shooting right there. That's something I can't do. Good on you. Bonzi does that a lot and he makes it work. Takes down the 155.50. That's God's work right there. Killing artillery. Oops. Got the attention of one of them. He's going to come out here. Then he finally zooms in. Put that guy down. There goes the fur. He's out of his misery. And pretty good job overall. I just not even touching the two button. I'd have touched it a long time ago, but it doesn't seem to have hurt him. Quote unquote, he doesn't need it. That's a whole nother subject. Maybe I'll make a tactics talk about that someday. Messing around with this WT who's getting his rear kicked right there. And we got the JT moving up. We're moving up on the JT. Now, this is an interesting situation right here. And I see this happen a lot. See all these guys just hold down right here? They're all thinking, well, it's a JT. I'm going hold down. That's that's fine. Let's see what he does here. Except for the fact that there are multiple of them. And there's no reason right there, Bonzi, I don't think anyway, for you to not just go at the JT. If he turns at you, it gives your buddies shots on him. If he ignores you, you go by him, and now you've got shots on his side. In any event, it gives the JT a decision to make on which way to fight, and he can't fight both directions. Right now, all of you are stacked up, allowing him to play to his strengths. You're all blapping him in the front where his heaviest armor is. Now, it's not always possible to flank somebody, but if you look at the numbers that you have, and it's just him and some Artie, it's a great idea for you to flank right here. And the reason people don't do it is they don't want to take a hit. Right, so you wouldn't probably just push out this guy. Let's say you had 200 hit points left, then I could definitely see hanging out right here. The the counter argument to that is if he had 200 hit points left, you might not want to sit in one place because he already is going to start focusing you, which you're going to get hit in a minute here anyway. So there's a lot of things playing in here, but let's just take this scenario on its at face value. You are here with all those hit points, and you have a bunch of guys shooting one strong tank in the face. Why not just keep trucking at him and make this guy make a decision? Also, uh, shooting into his gun port would have been a better idea right there. I think you were trying to get to his lower plate, but he's doing a decent job of hiding it. Again, right into that gun port, machine gun port would have been better. Or maybe just creep up a little bit and show more of his lower plate and shoot him right there. You could also try to get up under his track like you looked like you were doing there. And then, of course, the artillery hits you as you were sitting in one spot. Oop, there goes another one. Well, that's an interesting one. I it's not very often that you actually see the whole arc of the flight right there of the gun. I'd have just stopped and shot him, but that works too. It looks like you're looking for the uh, auto aim. He's never going to reload in time. You're going to shoot this guy and then switch over to this guy and kill him off. So nice job, man. Four kills, 3,194. A little bit of a short, a little bit of a slow start. I think that you probably left three or four shots on the table early up there. But you were, I think, being careful because of all the artillery. That is certainly something to take into account. But if you take a look at the actual situation where there were five or six of your own tanks up there shooting these guys from every direction, you probably had a reasonable expectation that you could get out there and get some shots and not really get completely trashed by artillery. Well, that's it for that one. Bonzi, nice game overall. Just some things I think you could probably look at on that. But a good example of taking a top-tier medium into what is traditionally the heavy brawling zone and sweeping it up pretty quickly. All right, guys, I hope you liked yourself. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you.